It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and one of the biggest myths out there is that it only happens to women. Doctors say one in 100 men are affected by that disease. A Monmouth County father, though, won't have to worry about that. He's happy to say he is left with a small reminder from an historic procedure. News 12 New Jersey's Prashanthi Musapate has the story. Every day has been better and better. Brian Thompson appears to be your typical father of two, but several years ago, yeah, this is the 34-year-old Leonardo man made a startling discovery in the shower. I actually felt in my breast, like on the sides, and there was like a peanut size. Those peanut-sized lumps began to grow into large masses. They were not cancer, but as time went on, they became more painful. From the front to the side. That's when Thompson paid a visit to his primary care physician, who referred him to Dr. Stephen Chigaris in Tinton Falls. Brian was the first male robotic mastectomy performed in the world. And he was really excited about it, and so was I. So what makes this procedure different from traditional methods? It's literally just a tool to do the same mastectomy we've always been performing, just with a much smaller incision off to the side and being able to get it all out and pull it out that way. And within a few months, this will disappear to almost nothing. Thompson will just be left with two small scars. Let's see that arm movement there. Up and about. Now both patient and doctor are urging other men to forget the stigma and be proactive. And he's doing great today. If there's men out there that, you know, have problems, have, uh, you know, breast cancer, lumps, anything, talk to someone about it. We can find so many things that if you get them early enough he's are treatable down, and curable. In Tinton Falls, this is what he's going to look like. Prashanthi Musapate, News 12, New Jersey. And for more information on that story, check news12.com this evening.